Here is my weekly security news roundup for the week ending April 12, 2024. Google says two scammers duped it into hosting 87 fake crypto apps on the Play Store. Business Insider reports that Google has filed a civil lawsuit in New York federal court against two app developers. The firm accuses the two of being crypto scammers who tricked it into hosting fraudulent apps in its app store. The two scammers, one from Shenzhen, China, and the other from Hong Kong, are alleged to have created legitimate-looking cryptocurrency exchanges and investment apps. These two men are said to have then convinced victims through various promotions to invest money through the apps, but wouldn't allow the victims to withdraw their money, regardless if they made a profit or not. Read more at AndroidAuthority.com. New Mac Stealer, Mac OS Malware Steals, iCloud, Keychain Data, and Passwords. Amazon has had a Fire TV remote app for years, with a virtual keyboard and remote inside. But the new QR code-based virtual keyboard and remote was much easier to use, thanks to not needing to install anything on your phone. That ease of use might be the feature's ultimate downfall because tech firm Green Line Analytics claims it's too easy for a nefarious person to take control of someone else's Fire TV using the new virtual keyboard and remote. The firm's exploit description, which it has sent to Amazon and the news service spokesperson, states that if an unauthorized person would acquire the virtual keyboard remote QR code somehow, it would allow them to hijack the device by installing unwanted apps. Read more at AFTVnews.com. San Francisco train control system still runs on floppy disks, risking a catastrophic failure. Joining the list of organizations still using archaic technology is the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency, which has a train control system still reliant on floppy disks. It's said to have been cutting-edge tech when it was first installed, back in 1998. But the city fears if there isn't an upgrade carried out soon, there will at some point be a catastrophic failure. It's somewhat ironic that in San Francisco, home of Silicon Valley, the train control system is running off floppy disks. SFMTA director Jeffrey Toonlin said the train management system was meant to be in place for 20 to 25 years. It has now entered its 26th year of service. Read more at techspot.com. AI meets next-gen info stealers in social media malvertising campaigns. The impact that AI has on society has steadily crept into the darkest nooks and crannies of the Internet, so much so that cyber crooks are hitching free rides on the AI bandwagon by leveraging the increased demand of AI-powered software for content creators. Cyber criminal groups constantly adapt their operating methods and tools to stay a step ahead of potential victims. Over the past year, Bitdefender Labs has seen a motley crew of AI-powered illicit operations conducted by threat actors over social media, from stream-jacking attacks to delivered crypto-doubling schemes on YouTube to audio deepfakes that overflow on meta social platforms. Read more at bitdefender.com. Multi-factor authentication bombing taken to the next level. MFA normally requires a user to enter a six-digit code sent by SMS or generated by an app or to respond to a push notification when they enter a username and password. 
It provides an enormous increase in security and makes life much harder for criminals. Because it's so hard to break, criminals have taken to getting users to defeat their own MFA. They do this by using stolen credentials to try logging in or by trying to reset a user's password over and over again. In both cases, this bombards the user with push notifications, asking them to approve the login, or messages asking them to change their password. By doing this, the criminals hope that users will either tap the wrong option or get so fed up they just do whatever the messages are asking them to do, just to make the bombardment stop. Now, according to this blog by Bran Krebs, these attacks have evolved. If you can withstand the pressure of the constant notifications, the criminals will call you, pretending to come to your rescue. Read more at malwarebytes.com. Critical flaws leave 92,000 D-Link NAS devices vulnerable to malware attacks. Threat actors are actively scanning and exploiting a pair of security flaws that are said to affect as many as 92,000 internet-exposed D-Link network-attached storage devices. The vulnerabilities impact legacy D-Link products that have reached end-of-life status. D-Link, in an advisory, said it does not plan to ship a patch and instead urges customers to replace them. Successful exploitation of the flaws could lead to arbitrary command execution on the affected D-Link NAS devices, granting threat actors the ability to access sensitive information, alter system configurations, or even trigger a denial-of-service condition. Read more at thehackernews.com. The Rental Control app exposes live GPS locations of kids on Internet. On February 7, 2024, the Cyber News research team discovered that the app's developers failed to configure authentication for their Kafka broker cluster, which leaked a large amount of sensitive data collected from miners' phones. The data was accessible to anyone, including malicious actors, for more than a year. With more than a million downloads on Google Play, Kid Security provides parents with services to track their children's location, control digital interactions, and listen to the sounds around the child to ensure safety. The app works in tandem with another app called iGrow, which has over half a million downloads. This is the second time the app has failed to secure access to its systems. Read more at cybernews.com. Microsoft fixes 149 flaws in huge April patch release, zero days included. Microsoft has released security updates for the month of April 2024 to remediate a record 149 flaws, two of which have come under active exploitation in the wild. Of the 149 flaws, three are rated critical, 142 are rated important, three are rated moderate, and one is rated low in severity. The update is aside from 21 vulnerabilities that the company addressed in its Chromium-based Edge browser following the release of the March 2024 patch Tuesday fixes. In addition to Microsoft, security updates have also been released by other defenders over the past few weeks to rectify several vulnerabilities. Read more at thehackernews.com. This week's must-see on my YouTube channel, Navigating the Digital Seas, a senior's guide to tech savviness. It's okay to laugh at the mishaps along the way, like when you accidentally take a selfie instead of a photo of the grandkids. It's all part of the adventure. Please watch my video on that topic by following the link listed. Did you know... Apple has a smoking ban 
on their computers. Meaning if you smoke while using any Apple computer, the warranty becomes void. Thanks to 3D printing technology, NASA can basically email tools to astronauts. Just thought you might want to know. It always seems impossible until it's done. Thanks to Nelson Mandela. In life, winning and losing will both happen. What is never acceptable is quitting. Thanks to Irvin Magic Johnson. And that's a wrap for this week's Security News Roundup. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching and listening.